Headlines and rumors about celebrity divorces are all over the news. First, it was Brangelina splitting. Then a story circulated that George Clooney was leaving pregnant Amal. But Hollywood or not, there are laws in place that determine how child custody is handled when a marriage crumbles. Lee White from Jodat Law Group is here to help us understand. Okay, so this is just a rumor about the George Clooney and Amal Clooney situation. But if this were to be true, how would you handle a divorce like that if that were to come up? Well, uh, I'd have to start by first saying I'd have to assume that Florida law is going to control. Uh, every state has its own law that applies to divorce cases. I know nothing about what they do in California. So uh, for Florida purposes, uh, you know, whether I'm meeting with a husband or a wife, uh, I spend a lot of time sitting down and talking with them to talk about their concerns and, and how the particular legal issues would impact their case. Uh, and I also talk with them about how we could best address the case. So Florida lets people uh, handle a divorce really two different ways. If uh, the two people have uh, an agreement, a mutual understanding as to how they want to deal with issues concerning children and assets and finances, that can be written up into a marital settlement agreement. Case can be handled pretty simply uh, and, and very quickly uh, as an uncontested case. If they don't have that mutual agreement, then you're going to go down the road towards litigation. And now I sure it is much more complicated when you have someone who's getting divorced in the middle of a pregnancy. So how do you work out custody once the child's born? So uh, with a pregnancy, a child to, to be expected, obviously there's going to be a lot of concerns as to what sort of custody arrangements in place. Mm -hmm. uh, and Florida laws had some changes uh, fairly recently. Uh, the law used to favor the mother. Uh, that sense has been done away with. So now it's, it's a lot more open-ended. Uh, there is no favoritism to either parent. It's really just a matter of considering a number of different factors to establish a custody arrangement, which they're not supposed to use the word custody anymore either, but I think for our purposes it's easy to say what just custody. Use? Yeah, what do they use now? So uh, in terms of the term, yes. it's called a, a parenting plan or time sharing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think to try and take uh, sort of an ownership status away from the child. So is it now where it's more a mutual understanding or a mutual dis, um, separation? So they're saying each person is going to get some sort of custody? That's to be presumed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the court's supposed to use and, and required to use a, a best interest of the child standard uh, to determine what kind of schedule would be best. Uh, there's no automatic 50-50 time sharing. There's a lot of information on the Internet that might suggest that that is in place, that that's actually not true. Uh, but there's a number of different factors that are taken into consideration uh, to determine what the schedule is going to be. Let me ask you something, and I don't mean to divert from our questions too much here, but you, in terms of scheduling, you know, I have friends that do like a week on, a week off. I have friends that do, you know, five and five, or maybe it's the other weekend with a Wednesday in the middle. Who figures all that out? Does the court say this is how this should work? If the two parents can't come to an agreement, then yes, the judge is going to make a decision and you lose your ability to pick and choose what you want. So it behooves you to get along and figure it yeah, out. Yeah, that's what I'm sensing. It, it's yeah. better if you it agree. It certainly can. Uh, you know, it takes two people to come to an agreement, and a lot of times the other side, or, or quite frankly, both people aren't willing to cooperate, and in which case we're going to litigate the case in front of the judge. Uh, but most of our cases we are able to settle. It's just a question of at which stage, whether it's at the very beginning before a case is even filed, or perhaps after a little bit of litigation. Uh, but really, at any point in time, two parents can come to an agreement as to what they want to do. And it's so hard, so and I point. can say this having been through it. You know, oh, obviously Lord. you're getting divorced because you're not getting along, and there's right. likely some bad feelings there, but yet you have to sit down as parents and agree on something. I know it was not easy in my case. Do you <laughs> find that with clients it's hard to get that? Because even with my situation, it's like um, I'm always ready to, to negotiate with my ex, but he's never been willing from the very day we started the process. Like, how do you get your client to cooperate? Well, uh, it's really just about negotiating, not just with our own client, but really with the other party, oh. to try and get something that ideally can last for a, a longer period of time. Uh, unfortunately, that's just not the reality. Mm. Uh, for a lot of people, they continue to litigate uh, through no fault of their own. Oft oftentimes, they're dealing with someone who's very difficult on the other side. Oh, uh, I know it. <laughs> I do have one quick question to throw in um, that I know you brought up. What if there's the suspicion that the baby is not the father's after oh. birth? So that does come up. Uh, it complicates things a bit. <laughs> I Just would say. It. It. Yeah. <laughs> so it, uh, you know, Florida law treats married parents differently than unmarried parents. Okay. 
So under Florida law, there's a legal presumption that the husband is the father, regardless of biology. Uh, when the child is born, that father is established as the legal father, mm -hmm. uh, and it is his option, no, nobody else's, his option as to whether he wants to maintain that right or divest himself if there is you know, some uh, belief that he's not the father of the child. Wow, okay, so he can choose at that point. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, lots, lots to of consider. great information. Thank you so much for being with us, Lee. And for more information, you can visit jodatlawgroup.com. And next, we are celebrating a tasty national holiday.